Hey everyone, it's Chris Ward with a Link Server 2013 micro nugget. We're going to take a look at this micro nugget, some pre install tips for Link Server 2013. One of the things that I've been guilty of in the past is I tend to rush things. I tend to just go, let's go do things, all right, and then guess what? Things get missed in the rush. And so when you are installing Link Server 2013, you have to prepare your Active Directory. You have to literally extend the schema. You're also going to have to make sure that you have your topology built and ready and published so that way when you install your front end servers and you start utilizing Link Server 2013 that everything works the way it's supposed to. And if you don't do a couple of little tips that I'm going to show you here, you can find yourself going, well, why won't this schema extend? Why does it keep barking at me? Why does it keep giving me a hard time? Let's find out here in this little micro nugget. Just like anything in the Microsoft world, you have basic steps for installation. Now in the micro nugget that we're doing here, we're not obviously going to cover every single thing that you see here. That you want to take my Link Server 2013 series 70-336 where we go through and we start off and we talk about the planning tool, prepare Active Directory, we talk about setting up the topology, publishing the topology, um, adding the appropriate uh, SRV records if you're necessary, then we get our front end server running and then we install our local configuration store, make sure that our certificates were our default certificate and if we're using our edge uh, edge environment, we're going to need those as well. And then one big important thing, this is true, and I talk about this in one of my blog posts, that link server services need to be running. If you find that you're losing functionality and things aren't working in your link server environment, about 90 to 95 percent of it has to do that you have your services started. So that's something that we want to do. But remember, this micro nugget was just a short little tip on what you need to do before you even get to right about here, preparing Active Directory for Link. The reason why is because a lot of times when we're installing things, or I would say doing any kind of job, you want to make sure that you bring the right tools to the to the table or you want to bring the right tools to your installation nothing's worse than leaving it back out in the van and having to go all the way down and go get it or maybe hey worse you left it back at the at the other job site oh no that's even worse so what we want to do is be able to make sure that we have everything in place on our windows server in order for us to actually begin to prepare Active Directory and then begin the rest of the Link Server 2013. So let's take a look at that and show you what it looks like. Now before we actually do the schema update, you want to make sure that there's some tools in place. Now I will give you this, wrong, but let me go ahead and run PowerShell as an administrator and I'm going to go ahead and paste in here and I need to go off screen here for a second. Okay, there we go. Sorry. So. This command, obviously, you're like, holy shnikes, do, um, can I do this? Don't worry. Basically, what I'm doing here is installing all the required web and .NET elements and everything that you are going to utilize as long, along with uh, your uh, Activation 45, your web, ASP, .NET type of things, and of course, the very important one, the RSAT 880S so that everything works. Now, some of these I've already installed. It's okay. Remember, with PowerShell, if you go, oh, install it. Oh, it's already there. It'll just keep moving on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit enter here. It's going to go ahead and run through and do all this. Now, this is going to take a little bit. I'm going to pause. The machine is going going to, as you can see, restart, and then I will have all the necessary tools in place in order for me to start prepping my Active Directory. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log back in. I'm actually going to switch users here. The, hold on, I get my password. There we go. Schema admin is really what you need to have in place right there. So, all right, so I put in my uh, username, my, my password. It's going to pop back up, and now I'm going to have all the necessary tools and tricks and everything that I need in order to install the uh, the server, or I should say now prepare the Active Directory. I know, we did all that work just to prepare the Active Directory. So we have all of our things in place, right? The next thing that we would want to do is actually install Link. We would use the install media. So I can go down here, come on out to my disk here, my DVD drive, which has my install media for Link Server 2013. Go to Setup folder, then click on the AMD64, and then double-click on Setup, 
and off we go to the races. And so from here is where we would go ahead and prepare our Active Directory. We would make sure that we get our topology set up and then install the link server system. But that's all we wanted to show you was those cool tips to get you ready for this particular section. Make sure you have the tools in place in order for your domain controller to do what it needs to do. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.